we need to make sure all the denominators are factorized first. This one is not factorized over here, and so we'll have to do that first. So we'll say 5x plus 9 over. Now that one can factorize really easily as x minus 3 and x plus 1. Then I'm just going to write out the rest. Okay, now x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1, but 3 minus x is not the same as x minus 3. So we need to switch one of them. I always choose the easiest one to switch, like the smallest one. So I'm going to switch this one. So all that I have to do mathematically is change this sign over here. So that'll switch, and then I can switch that. So on the next line, it's going to go 5x plus 9 over x minus 3 x plus 1 plus 2 over x minus 3, see what I did there, equals to x over x plus 1. So now we can easily say that our lowest common denominator will be x minus 3 and x plus 1. And so if we do the restriction, we would eventually see that x must not be 3 or x must not be minus 1. And so now we need to realize that this one is going to be multiplied by x plus 1 and this one is going to be multiplied by x minus 3. This one doesn't need anything because it already has everything. So it's going to look like this. like that. Now that the denominators are the same, it all cancels out. And so now we can say 5x plus 9 plus 2x plus 2 equals to x squared minus 3x. Ooh, I broke rule number one. I'm actually going to go back. And to help you guys, remember, we shouldn't really do anything going into the next step. You should just write it down as it was. And now, just to be cautious, now we're going to multiply everything in. So now it's going to give us 5x plus 9 plus 2x plus 2 equals to x squared minus 3x. I'm then going to take everything to the right. So it's going to become minus 5x minus 9 minus 2x minus 2. And now we can simplify. It's going to give us minus 10x and then minus 11. This can be factorized. Whoops, let me open up both brackets. So minus 11 and x plus 1. And so therefore, x is going to equal to 11, or x is going to be equal to minus 1. But now if we go to our restrictions, x was not allowed to equal to negative 1. And so for that one, we'll say na. So therefore, x can only equal to 11.